the Death Ray Cat Guitar Lesson channel. Got a new one for you. A lot of people are talking about the Goo Goo Muck song by The Cramps because it's been on some TV show. So I thought I'd jump in on that bandwagon. It's by The Cramps. It's originally by Ronnie Cook and the Gay Lads. So there you go. Um, I'm going to show you the Cramps version. And if you like this, I've done lots of videos on Cramps tunes for beginners. So go and have a look at those later on. Now, the rhythm part of this is just a few chords, so I'm going to show you that. I'll also show you the lead part, which is just some single notes, so it's fairly easy. All the tabs for this is going to be on my Patreon, there'll be some links below. So we can start off with the rhythm parts, just with a couple of chords. And there's a couple of ways you can play these. We'll start off with the open chords. You've got an E major. And you've got a D. So, there are your first two shapes. And the rhythm goes like this. Those are fairly quick changes. What I found helps is leaving the first finger down on the G string when moving between those two. D chord, you don't want to be hitting the E or A strings. There's another option, we can play power chords. So you could just play the first three notes of that E major, and then come up and play the D power chord up here, which is on the fifth fret of the A string, and play in this little shape here. If you don't know what a power chord is, that's super useful for any kind of punk rock and rock and roll or any sort of guitar stuff really. Okay, now you've got your first part for the intro and the first part of the verse. Later on we're going to go in between an A and a G. Then there's a little turnaround in the verse, we're going to go back to this power chord, so 2nd fret on the A string, 1st finger, 2nd fret on the A string, ring fingers on the 4th fret of the D string, little fingers on the 4th fret of the G string. And when we get to You Better Duck, we're going to play this chord, 4 times, 4 stabs on that power chord on the 2nd fret. When I show up, we go down to the A, and we can do the full A, and we can just play the power chord there. And then we go back to the E to the D. So that's pretty much the rhythm part, so that's fairly easy if you know your chords, or it's quite tricky if you're new to the chords. What we'll do now is look at the single note stuff, which is on the other guitar in the recording. If you're wondering what kind of gear I'm using now, I've just got the Fender Reverb Tank, which is going straight into the interface. Um, so it's got its own kind of preamp on there. And that's what that sounds like. If you've got any kind of reverb on any of your effects, they'll sound good for this. If you've got a Fender amp with a real spring reverb, then even better. So for the lead guitar in this, we've got a few bits that happen after the vocal parts. So I'll just tackle them one at a time. The first one... <laughs> start on the A string. I'm going to play on the 2nd fret, I'm going to play an open D, then the 1st fret on the D string, and the 2nd fret, like this. Play it twice. Then we're playing the 2nd fret on the A, twice. 
Then we're gonna go up to the second fret on the D string again and play that a bunch of times. Three times. Then we're gonna go back to the second fret on the A. So there's some back and forth going on. This will all be tapped out in the Patreon. And to finish that lick, we're staying on the second fret on the A. It's just kind of held and wrung out. So the second lick is pretty much the same, but we're going to end it slightly differently because we're going up to an A. done is exactly the same but at this point we're gonna go from the second to the first to the open A because the rest of the band is going to be going to the A part Now we've gone to the A, we're going to play around in that A area. But we're going to start with the open E. Three hits on the open E. Then we go to the A. And then to the third fret on the E. Then we're going to go to the open E. Back to the third fret. Then back to the open A. Then when we go back to the E, it's like the first couple of times but even simplified and we're staying on that second fret there. For the better duck bit, in the first time round, there's no lead guitar, so you can just hear that. So you can either play along with that, or you can play what happens later on, which is some different lead lines. So when we go up to the B on the chords, the lead part is... Which is just the G, the third fret on the E. Open A. First fret on the A. Second fret on the A. And then on the B. Then when we go to the A part, we're going literally from the B, second fret on the A, two hits there, then first fret, and landed on the A. So the next part is slightly different. second fret on the D string, then the open D, then to the second fret on the A string, then back to the D, and then we've got three hits on the second fret on the D string, back to the second fret on the A string, and then another hit on the second fret, and then we're going to go to the open D, first fret on the D, and then second fret. Then back to that similar riff. That's pretty much it throughout the rest of the song. It's very similar during the verses. You might hear just the open strings being played. Depending on whether it's on an E or an A chord. While uh, Lux is singing. So just have a listen and see what's going on. But they're kind of the main riffs there. And you've got the chords. Hopefully that'll help you. If you enjoyed that and you want to know more cramp stuff, go and look at my playlist. There's a bunch of cramp stuff for beginners. I've got some merch if you want to help me out. I've got the Patreon there with the tabs. I might even do a backing track. Let me know if you'd like that. Um, if you've got any requests, let me know. Cheers for watching. I'll see you in a bit.